Well, good morning, everyone out there in YouTube land. It is Saturday. Um, we are back out at Ponte Vedra. And I just got a text message from Eric saying that his boss said that I could come up and help again if I want. So I'm going to go do that. Uh, I had planned on doing some vlogging while I was out here and talking to you guys. But if there's an opportunity to make money, I'm going to take that chance. So I just wanted to real quick come on here and talk to you guys a little bit before I went ahead inside. Um... I wanted to, let's see, yesterday Eric and I, um, if you watched my, our coin roll hunt video last night, you know that we got our first joint bank account. Um, I guess it's Eric's first bank account in many years, five years or so. I have a bank account, but it's back in Tampa and they don't have any branches here. So we've been living without a bank account for, for about four years almost since we've been together anyway um so that was exciting not only will that help me in making my car payment because as it stands right now I'm having to load cash onto my PayPal account using a my cash PayPal card and it's been difficult to find those cards I feel like they're kind of starting to um what's the word uh to stop using them they, um so I wasn't sure how I was going to continue for the next year and a half to make my payments. So now we have a bank account. I can get all that taken care of easily. Um, also, I wanted to tell you guys <laughs> about what happened yesterday. We went to go uh, renew our insurance and our insurance rates had increased dramatically again and this is the second time since our accident and our accident was not our fault we got slammed into while we were stopped and the lady hit us and run and she was later that week found by Jacksonville uh, County Sheriff's Office and she admitted to hitting us said that she was running late for work which is why she took off um, funny story her name was Christy just like mine and she worked at a subway just like I did only in a different part of town and so when I called the the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office to get the report emailed to me they were very very confused because there was both of us with the same name spelled the same way which is even more weird because I don't ever find anyone with my name spelled the same way it's usually CH uh, instead of K and IE instead of Y so anyway so yeah um this is the second time our rates have been increased since the accident that's not supposed to happen so when we saw how much the insurance was gonna be we started talking about shopping around getting quotes from other insurance companies and our insurance agent actually told us that because both of us were injured in the accident and both of us filed a PIP claim that nobody else is gonna take us for the next three to five years so we are basically stuck with this crap insurance company which we've heard many times over since the accident that our insurance company is the worst um, so I got home and I called our attorney just to ask if that's even legal because it doesn't seem right and I'm pretty sure that since Florida is a no-fault state you have to have PIP in the state of Florida and we were forced to use those PIP benefits so it didn't seem right that we were being penalized um, and I also think it's against the law for them to increase our rates when we were at no fault in the accident and she told me that they can't increase our rates and that that what we were being told about not being able to get another insurance company was not true so she um, said that she had a friend in the insurance uh, field and she passed on my information to help us get a quote for a better insurance company so we'll see how that goes also the lady told me that she was working on uh, finishing up my case so hopefully um, if there's any money cut coming from that and uh, in case you're wondering the reason why we even have an attorney and all that is because when we got into the accident and the lady took off I had no idea what to do 
I'd been in accidents, you know, a long time ago in my life, and I've never had anybody run. Um, so we called a, a referral line, I guess, to get an attorney, to get a doctor, because I knew instantly that my neck was hurt. And I tried to to let it pass, you know, but it just, it was bothering me so much. I was going to go to the emergency room that night, but when I called these people, they went ahead and set me up an appointment with a doctor for the next morning. So I went ahead and we went to um, the doctors and chiropractors for six months. Almost, well, maybe it was four months, but it was one to two times a week for four months that we were going to these doctor's appointments. Um, so I, I'm not sure if we're going to be getting money. I'm pretty sure, actually, that we're going to be getting money from the accident. But anyway, so that happened yesterday. That was a bit stressful. So we didn't renew. We still have a week to do it, but we're, I guess, waiting to see what happens if we can get a better insurance company or whatever have you. So there's that. Um, what else did I want to tell you guys about? Oh, my mom's coming to get the chickens um, Sunday. So tomorrow, uh, my sister texted me a picture of the little coop that they got and they put together and she said that they were ready for the chickens and I was like, great, because I'm ready for them to go. They're adorable, but uh, sometimes, that's why I like fish so much. I mean, it's a lot of upkeep, but as long as you keep your tank water clean and stuff like that, it's not such a big deal. Like, I don't have to take my fish out and feed them and stuff like that. And I love having chickens. Uh, but having to care for them in home, uh, when you don't have everything you necessarily need for that can be a bit challenging. So I'm happy that they're going to be going to a good home with lots of land and they're going to be happy little chickens. Um, let's see tomorrow. I believe Eric is off. So we've got a few things we need to take care of there. I think we're going to be getting his daughter tonight. Um, but I guess, I guess that's it. I don't know. I felt like I had so much more to talk about. Um, oh, we went to a uh, Popeye's chicken. I don't know if you guys have a Popeye's chicken around. We went to a Popeye's chicken and the speaker where you order your meals was broken. And there was an incredibly long line there. So when we got up to the window, we ordered our meal, and then afterwards we're like, oh, can we add a drink to that? And he's like, yeah, I won't charge you. And he gave us this human humongous drink. And then he asked us if we liked the apple or the cherry cheesecake pies, and Eric said that he liked them. I don't eat cooked fruit, but he gave us two pies for free. So for $11, it was actually $10.70, we got two boxed meals, which one was a two-piece and two sides and a biscuit, and mine was three tenders, two sides and a biscuit, a large, like extra large drink, and two pies for $10.70. Like, that was incredible. And I didn't even eat all that food. Anyway, so that was cool. Uh, Eric got some scratch-offs yesterday and actually won uh, $12 off of... $2 off one ticket, $10 off the other. I used to have really good luck with scratch-offs for about a year, but now every time I scratch one, it's a loser. So I've been letting him scratch, or I want him to scratch. Um, you guys saw our coin hunt roll video. The great thing about having a bank account now is that we can go into our bank and request coin rolls anytime we want. If you don't have an account, they give you a hard time about getting coin rolls. Like, I, I have never understood that. Anytime we go and we ask if we can buy some coin rolls, they're like, do you have an account? And we're like, no. And they're like, oh, we can't do that. And I'm like, really? We're giving you real cash money in exchange for the same amount of real cash money. I don't understand why that's a problem. But now we have an account and we can do that anytime we want. We found tons of copper pennies. We love copper pennies. We found wheat pennies. Those are awesome. Um, found a couple of errors. Filled a lot of the book, or not filled the books, but filled in spaces in a lot of the books that I had. And it's something that we enjoy. So that was awesome. Um, anything else before I go up there? I don't know. I need to make my car payment today. Uh, I need to put money on lights. I need to go pick up my last check from Subway. I 
don't think I've told you guys about that yet. I'm no longer working for Subway. Um, I'm sure you might have probably picked up on it. You don't ever see me in my uniform anymore, and I'm always sitting out at Eric's job. So that was a difficult decision, but so far I can say that I don't feel any real regrets about it. I mean, it sucks not making that extra couple hundred dollars a month. Um, but I just could not handle the anxiety anymore. And I know I'm a loser because of that or whatever, but I will find another job. I'm hoping to get on with Eric. We'll see how that goes. This is the second time that his boss has offered to let me work with him. I'm hoping that maybe he'll consider even hiring me on part-time just when they need an extra helper. That would be cool. I would be all right with that. Otherwise, I'm sure that I will find something eventually. I just have to find something that is not going to trigger my anxiety so much. I mean, the job was easy. I knew my job. Just being in front of customers constantly and like preparing what they're about to put in their mouth right in front of them created a lot of anxiety for me. And then another thing is, and this is weird and I don't quite understand it, but when I first start a job, obviously I'm nervous getting the job and going in the first day. But after that, I kind of loosen up a bit and my extrovert tends to come out. But then the longer I'm at a job and the more I have to see the same people every day and the more I interact with the same people every day, my anxiety starts getting really, really bad. Like every time I know I'm about to go into work or like all the morning before I'm going, getting ready to go into work, I am just like constantly anxious and sick to my stomach and just feeling like I don't want to do this. And it's not, it's not like I didn't like the people I worked with. I really liked the people I worked with. I mean, sometimes there was some drama, but I guess you're going to get that anywhere you go. Um, but my anxiety just got so, so bad. And it just so happened that all of this kind of worked out to where, like, it, Eric was working out of town a lot. And it was probably going to interfere with the ride situation, getting him back and forth to work and things like that. So I, I made the decision to put in my notice. And it was hard. But, um, you know, it happens. Anyway, um, I can't think of anything else. I'm sure as soon as I shut off the camera, I'm going to think of something. Uh, but I guess that's it for now. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.